Hello world, in this video, I'm going to build a handheld that can run macOS. Let's go! To do this project, I will use this board. This is the Latte Panda Alpha. It has an Intel M3-8100Y as its CPU and 8GB of RAM. It already has a CPU fan, but we will add more fans. The Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability will be provided by this BCM94352Z card. I already installed macOS Big Sur on this SSD. As for how I installed macOS, I just followed the Open Core Dortanya guide. The link will be on the description. This battery will power the Latte Panda Alpha. It is actually for a Chewy Minibook but it's pin compatible with the battery connector of the Latte Panda Alpha. I'll just increase the length of its wires. There, that seems sufficient. It will be charged through the USB-C port. By the way, I also made this tiny board. This is for controlling the LED power indicator, LCD power, the two fans right here, and for the power of the keyboard touchpad combo. This board will be managed by the Arduino Leonardo. Yes, it has a built-in Arduino Leonardo. The Arduino will read the ACPIS5 pin on the Latte Panda Alpha, and it will turn on the LED, LCD, the two fans, and the keyboard touchpad combo. Sure, we can maybe just remove the Arduino in the middle and let the S5 pin control those things directly. But we cannot control the speed of the fans if we do that. I have not yet implemented the feature of fan speed control anyway. But I'll just leave the implementation of it in the air. No pun intended. This would have been relatively easier if there was a circuit on the Latte Panda Alpha itself to turn off the 5V power rail if it is powered off. But oh well. As for the 3D printing side of things, there's the top part of the case, bottom part, the LCD holder, the battery holder, and the transistor board will also be mounted here. I've also 3D printed this tiny holder for the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card. This is for mounting the keyboard touchpad combo. By the way, the top part and bottom part were post-processed by a friend of mine. These are printed using PLA+, as it is more heat resistant and stronger than regular PLA. I also made this. This switch will be mounted on the case. And it is for turning the Latte Panda Alpha on and off. It goes directly here on the board, the LED power indicator, and this micro USB power cable for the LCD. I guess with those things out of the way, let's assemble the project.
The HDMI is for the innate LCD of the handheld, but we can still get video on the USB-C port. The dongle for the wireless keyboard is connected to one of the USB 3.0 ports here. This would have been nicer if you have a wired mini keyboard instead. It is more elegant, but oh well, I could have connected it to the USB 2.0 header on the Latte Panda Alpha. Maybe, if my channel gained enough traction, I can design one, haha. <laughs> I guess the battery readout is not working right because there is no gauge IC for the battery. Oh, maybe you'll say that a handheld macOS is not practical, yada yada yada. Well sure, you're right, I just want to make one for myself. Besides, I think I'll mostly use this as a Mac Mini per se. Oh, but for that price, you could have bought an M1 Mac Mini instead. I know, but where's the fun in that? Also, the Hackintosh scene will probably come to an end. Anyway, now that the project is done, I think that's it. Is this the world's first DIY handheld that can run macOS Big Sur? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Till next time.